What's going on everybody? This is Brian Burkett and this is Two Minutes in Tech and today we're talking passwords. Now you already know the joke. If your password is notepad and you need to add a number to it, it'll be notepad one. And then if you need to add a special character to it, it'll be notepad one with an exclamation point, right? Maybe you're a little bit better than that, but if our research and just experience of working with clients and human nature uh, is any, any indication, you're probably not much better than that. And few people are on their own, and it's understandable. Passwords and keeping up with them, it's a nightmare, plain and simple. Uh, but they are the keys to your kingdom, and therefore they deserve focus and attention. And that's where a password manager that lives outside your browser and a separate application that's dedicated to that comes into play. Coupled with some form of multi-factor authentication, biometrics, maybe both, a password manager puts you in the position that you only need to remember one hard to guess but easy to remember passphrase that is hard to crack. And from there, that password manager can create, store, it can autofill complex, unique passwords for each service that you log into. And uh, some can even alert you if one of those passwords that it's created has been compromised due to some kind of a breach on one of those services so that you can then have the password manager change the password for you. In fact, there are many services that I log into that I couldn't tell you what my password was if my life depended on it, but my password manager can. And it stores those credentials in a secured, encrypted environment with many layers of protection that bad guys would have to hack through to get into it. And while nothing's 100% hack-proof, using a password manager does ensure complex passwords and is recognized as being best practice at this point. Now, as always, if there's something that my team can help your team out with that's tech-related, please don't hesitate to send me a direct message. Until next time, stay safe out there. This is Brian Burkett, and this has been Two Minutes in Tech.